Hello. This time we are going to talk about diabetes. It's going to come up in multiple episodes. The first episode is general topic on what is diabetes. Diabetes is a health condition where the body cannot properly control the amount of sugar, in other ways called glucose in the blood. Normally when we eat, our body breaks down food into glucose, which gives us energy. A hormone called insulin made by the pancreas helps glucose enter our cells to be used for energy. But in diabetes, there are two things can happen. One, the body doesn't make enough insulin or the body can't use insulin properly. When this happens, sugar stays in the blood instead of going into cells leading to high blood sugar. Over time, this can damage organs like the heart, kidneys, eyes, and nerves. There are three main types of diabetes. One is type 1 diabetes. It's more commonly seen in children and young adults, where the body stops making insulin. In type 2 diabetes, that is the most common variety of diabetes, the body doesn't use insulin well. It's often seen in adults. The third category is called gestational diabetes. It happens during pregnancy and usually goes away after birth. Let's talk about type 1 diabetes. What happens in type 1 diabetes? The immune system mistakenly attacks the pancreas, destroying cells that make insulin. So in the absence of insulin, sugar cannot enter into the cells. So it builds up in the blood. The people with type 1 diabetes must take insulin every day to survive because there's an absolute lack of insulin that needs to be supplemented. So what are the causes and what are the risk factors? It's not caused by diet or lifestyle. It is an autoimmune disease. The immune system mistakenly attacks the pancreas. Most likely it's caused by environmental triggers. Sometimes there is a genetic predisposition. Sometimes viruses can attack directly the pancreatic beta cells where the insulin is secreted. It's usually diagnosed in children, teens, or young adults. So what are the symptoms of type 1 diabetes? The symptoms of type 1 and type 2 are very similar. Symptoms are extreme thirst, frequent urination, sudden weight loss, extreme hunger, fatigue, and irritability. Let's talk about type 2 diabetes. What happens in type 2 diabetes? The body still makes insulin, but cells don't respond well to it. This is called insulin resistance. Over time, the pancreas can't keep up and the blood sugar rises. What are the causes and risk factors? Most common, most of the time, is being overweight or obese, especially when you have a belly fat there is a higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Second is a lack of exercise. Third, poor diet, too much sugar, sugar containing beverages, processed foods. Fourth, family is to have a diabetes. Fifth, age, Especially when the age is more than 45, there is a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The symptoms are very similar to type 1 diabetes. Increased thirst and hunger, frequent urination, blurry vision, slow healing wounds, tingling in hands and feet. The third category is gestational diabetes. What is gestational diabetes? It occurs only during pregnancy. 
usually in the second and third trimester. The hormones from placenta block insulin, raising blood sugar. Usually goes away after birth, but increases the mother's risk of type 2 diabetes later on. The risk factors being overweight before pregnancy, family history of diabetes, older age, especially when the pregnancy happened after 35 years of age, or previous gestational diabetes. It has effects on the mom and the baby. On the baby, the baby may grow too large, so-called macrosomia, leading to difficulty delivery. The normal delivery may be hampered. On the mother, there is a higher risk of blood pressure and future diabetes. How to treat? Con most of the time, it's controlled with the diet and the exercise. Some women may need insulin. How diabetes is diagnosed and treated? The diagnostic tests are as follows. 1. Fasting blood sugar. Check blood sugar levels after not eating for 8 hours. Most commonly, it is done early morning after not being ate that night before. The normal blood sugar is supposed to be less than 100. In pre-diabetes, the blood sugar range would be 100 to 125. In diabetes, this, the fasting blood sugar will be more than 126. The second test is called hemoglobin A1C test. It detects average blood sugar over 2 to 3 months. The normal is below 5.7. In pre-diabetics, the the range is 5.7 to 6.4. In diabetic patients, the level is 6.5 or higher. How to treat? Type 1 diabetes, they lack insulin. As a result, they need to be treated with insulin injections or insulin pump. It's required for life. And good blood sugar monitoring control the blood sugar and also the hemoglobin A1c. In type 2 diabetes, healthy diet and exercise is very, very important. Second, pills to help insulin work better. There are multiple medications available. We are going to have a separate video on medications in diabetes. Some may need insulin later on. In gestation diabetes, often treated with dietary changes and exercise. Sometimes pregnant women may need insulin to control the sugar. How to prevent and have a healthy living with diabetes? Preventing type 2 diabetes is possible by losing weight, especially when you lose weight 5 to 10 percent. That helps tremendously. And eating healthy diet like more veggies, whole grains, lean protein, and less sugar. Exercise regularly, 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Avoid smoking and limiting alcohol. Sometimes diabetes persists. Then one should learn how to live well with the diabetes, like checking blood sugar regularly, taking medications as prescribed, eat balanced meals, that meaning controlling the sugar or controlling the carbohydrate, and being stay active, walking, swimming, and yoga, and get regular doctor checkups. Finally, diabetes is a serious condition, but with proper care, people can live long, healthy lives. Early detection and lifestyle changes make a big difference in managing diabetes. I just want to leave a note. We have done pre-diabetics videos, three of them, loaded in our YouTube channel. Please look at it if you don't have a diabetes or if your age is more than 35 or if you have a family history of diabetes. That will help you to 
prevent diabetes if you have it mitigated and also it will help you to prevent complications from pre-diabetes and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. Thanks again.